All right, today, um, today's going to be fun. I'm looking forward to this interview. This is a dude I grew up on his music. Um, and, you know, I actually called about three different people to get his information because I was like, you, I, I just want to sit and talk to somebody who I have listened to his music. I've seen his work for so many years of my life. Um, producer, writer, um, rapper, <laughs> please welcome. Queen's own Kwame. Kwame, what, what up? What up, what up? What's going on, brother? I'm good. I'm good. Good to have you in the building, man. Yeah, thank you for having me. Thank you for having me for sure. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you, Kwame, I love your background. Yeah, the, right, right now, you you I, I feel like I gotta step my game up so crazy <laughs> looking at your background. But this back this just represents me. I'm I'm still a 12-year-old kid. <laughs> so <laughs> this is my this is this is my sanctuary. Now, nah, I'm going to tell you if you if you ever see me on future shows and I got arcades, games and 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 toys do it. in the background, just know you the inspiration. Yeah, man, do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. I love it. I love it. All right, yo, I'm going to take it backwards for a second. There's a lot I want to talk to you about today, but um East Elmhurst Queens. Yes. What is it about Queens that has produced so many so rappers, so much dope talent in the industry. Well, let me, I, I rep my neighborhood so hard. So let me give you a background of this neighborhood. So it's East Elmhurst. So if anybody that doesn't know, it's the LaGuardia Airport, right? If you know LaGuardia Airport, the neighborhood in LaGuardia Airport is East Elmhurst, Queens. Um, where you see ever you see videos with the big globe or the, you know the, the the earth globe in the in the park and all that stuff. Yep. So so East Elmhurst is adjacent to another neighborhood called Corona. So East Elmhurst, we pretty much consider it the same neighborhood. Corona is one side, East Elmhurst is another side. And within East Elmhurst Corona, you have the stadium where Mets play, you have the stadiums where the um US Open is, you have um LaGuardia Airport and that neighborhood in the late 40s it was predominantly Italian and Jewish and in the late 40s when black mainly artists started making money they started to migrate out to Queens and East Elmhurst was one of the spots. So Louis Armstrong lived in East Elmhurst. Um, Willie Mays, the great baseball player, lived in East Elmhurst. Harry Belafonte lived in East Elmhurst. Ella Fitzgerald lived in East Elmhurst. Um, um, so many other people. Martin Scorsese is from Corona. Um, and a lot of these people started to migrate into East Elmhurst. And as time went on, um, Nancy Wilson lived in East Elmer. So as time went on, those people moved out. They got started making more money and moved into to bigger places. But, um, oh, Malcolm X lived in East Elmhurst. Malcolm X lived on my block in East Elmhurst. That was the house that, that got bombed, was literally up the block from my house, literally up the block. So, so, and that's 97th street in East Elmhurst. And, um, so we already have in like uh, the the DNA of this neighborhood, and like I said, it's not it's not a rich neighborhood at all. It's a middle class neighborhood. So by the time I'm growing up in the '80s, it's now my parents are from East Elmhurst. So when they were growing up, it was fifty fifty black white. When I was growing up, it was probably seventy thirty black white. Some some Latinos started to move in. But in my time, we had um, the older cats were Herbie Lovebug, who is the producer for Salt and Pepper and Kid and Play. So it was Herbie. We had um, our ice cream man. The ice cream man is Eric B. Eric B. and Rakim. Um, oh. um, play, Kid. Um, Herbie's girlfriend is Salt, so she's in the neighborhood. Her best friend is Pepper, so she's in the neighborhood. Um, LL had a, a rap group that was from the neighborhood. So LL was in the neighborhood. 
um, on the other side in Corona is Cool G Rap, DJ Polo. So these are the like the 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 older people in the neighborhood. And 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 so when hip hop is starting to make moves, the first person to get put on was Herbie. Technically, Herbie mm-hmm. and Eric were like the first two people to get put on. So so to see that firsthand is an amazing thing to see like Eric B and Rakim, like the first time ever exposed to Eric B and Rakim, you see these little flyers for, for their record and, or, or kid and play. Like everybody seemed to get put on in like late 85, like everybody in the neighborhood. So Herbie has salt and pepper and they put out their, their group was called super nature at first. Yeah, so, yeah. so super nature was out with their first record showstopper. Kid and Play wasn't Kid and Play yet. They were called Fresh Force, and they had a record called Rock Me off of that Rock Me Amadeus record. And then Eric B. had Eric B. as president. And then Cool G Rap has It's a Demo and I'm Fly. So those records were all out at the same time from all these cats in the neighborhood. And then um, from there, Salt and Pepper takes off, Kid and Play takes off, you know, everybody starts taking off and me being younger, um, Herbie's younger brother was my best friend in school. And so Steve would bring me around Herbie and I got to see like all of that, like firsthand. It was amazing, man. Yo, it's so crazy because I always wondered what was the connection between you and Herbie? Yeah. You you actually went to school with his younger brother. Is Is, is his younger brother that actually introduced you to him? Yeah, so so how I know Herbie, we all went to the we all went to this Catholic school. It's funny, I'm a Muslim and I went to Catholic school. But um we all went to this we all went to this Catholic school and it was like the neighborhood it was like the neighborhood school. Like you had a choice whether you go to it was either PS one twenty seven in the neighborhood or Saint Gabriel's. And if you could get into Saint Gabriel's, you go into Saint Gabriel's. So G-Rap went to St. Gabriel's, Play went to St. Gabriel's, Herbie went to St. Gabriel's, I went to St. Gabriel's, um, and Herbie's little brother, Steve. But since, like I said, the other guys are so much older, they're like seven, eight years older than me, um, me and Steve were cool. But Herbie, how I met Herbie, Herbie was, we had an eighth grade prom, and Herbie was the DJ. Herbie oh. was the DJ. Your guy, you know, um, hitman Ron Lawrence, Ron Lawrence, lived on my block you know what i'm saying ron was on 97th street as well ron was on one side of 97th street and the malcolm x house was on the other side so herbie and ron did the, did the the eighth grade prom herbie brings cheryl salt we thinking salt is our age so we all trying to bag salt at the eighth grade prom <laughs> you know so i'm saying that's how deep our history is you know and 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 you know, we used to have park jams, just like, you know, uptown and anywhere else. And Herbie used to have a crew called the um, the Turnout Brothers. And it was Herbie and, Pl- no, Herbie and Kid, I believe. And Play was in another crew called the Super Lovers. And, and those were like the neighborhood MCs, you know? So we all, Ron, I think Ron was in, Ron might've been in the Super Lovers as well. He was Ronnie Damn, Tuck. I didn't know that. Yeah. Ronnie Tough, <laughs> that was his name, <laughs> and 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 so, you know, it was just a community, man. It was a community, and then when hip hop started becoming things, you know, it became a hip hop community. And um, you know, after and then when a lot of some of the Latinos started to move in, you had like the Beat Nuts. The Beat Nuts are from Corona, um, and and um, uh, Salam Remy is is oh. further up in corona uh a little bit past corona is nori and capone you know so so you know the other neighborhood right next to us flushing you have dreads from F- black sheep you have um large professor so if you expand this neighborhood to the five surrounding neighborhoods within you know and everything is 10 minutes away so it ain't like they hikes. You can walk to some of these people, other neighborhoods from from a central location. So, um, yeah, man, it was just it was just a crazy, crazy, crazy time. 
What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.